What's up YouTube Universe? Welcome back to Tambucho Riders Channel. Today, we will look at 360 degrees camera for moto vlogging. Any 360 camera will do, but for this video, I will be showing you the Insta 361X in particular. It's a very versatile camera that you can mount almost anywhere on your motorbike. So let's take a look at some examples and let's go! Let's start with the vertical placement of Insta360 on the left hand side of the handlebar. On the lower right corner, picture in picture view, that's the view from the uh, Osmo uh, action camera mounted on my helmet chin. This should show you the overall uh, placement of the camera, how it looks like, and also um, how the overall view of the bike itself with the camera mounted on the handlebar. Here, let's place it horizontally along the handlebar. Uh, this setup gives us a cleaner look as opposed to the vertical placement earlier. Also, the overall image has different uh, perspective in comparison to the previous one. So here, I'll just quickly walk around the motorbike just to give you a perspective of how the installation or how the placement of the camera looks like. Here, from the left hand side, we're going to move the camera in the middle of the handlebar. So I'm using here a ramp mount, a clamp, uh, so that it can hold the camera a little bit forward. So it's a little bit extended to the front and therefore the view will be completely different. Okay. So I'll, I'll walk around the motorbike again just for you to see how it is exactly mounted and what I meant by a little bit extended to the front. This setup is not as clean uh, in comparison with the previous one, but it gives a very different perspective altogether. It depends on your taste, you may like this uh, setup. This allows you to see the front tire of the bike as well as the full frontal view of the motorbike itself and as well as you as the driver. So it's really unique in a way. Now let's move the camera from the center of the handlebar to the right hand side just below the gas tank. 
this one is my personal favorite because this really offers a very very unique perspective you will see that Again, I will walk around the motorbike so you see the overall view of the installation and how it is mounted, if it's good or not. the view in any direction uh, looking upwards it's a really good view you can look at the front you can look at the tire you can look at the, um, the rear view many many possibilities and the view from this uh, angle i like it placement here using the passenger foot peg I don't really recommend this uh, configuration because I don't feel this is sturdy enough I don't feel this is uh, safe enough but just for testing and for showing the different angle of the camera when it's uh, placed this way or maybe if you can somehow secure it and maybe you have a need of this type of uh, view then of course you can uh, do it but again I don't recommend it and also the view is a little bit limited anyways um, it's up to you to decide so again I will walk around the bike just for you to see how the camera is mounted on the passenger foot peg and how's the overall view um, if it's acceptable if it's not but then again as I've said it's not recommended but it's it's an option if you need it there's a way another possibility so if your motorbike has a CC bar like the one that I'm using so this is really a good way of uh, capturing the, the view from behind if you need it I don't really like looking at the back of me because it doesn't really look nice I mean in the front is not nice so how much more at the back right <laughs> anyway so so yeah so this is just another possibility if you have a cc bar or a place that's sturdy enough to clamp the camera then yeah go ahead
is the last one um, although I don't think it's necessary because we've already covered the one on the other side just below the gas tank but just to show you another view this time on the left hand side below the gas tank it's, it's a different view I mean uh, it, you can show your um, foot um, operating the, the shifter uh, showing your hands operating the uh, clutch lever and stuff so it, it offers different view anyways this is just another option folks uh, that's it i hope you like it and if you want to see more of this type of video make sure to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell as well and all the parts that i've used though i did not mention the name i will list them down in the description below with my amazon link if you want to support the channel thank you very much see you next time